The extermination camp in Treblinka was set up in spring 1942 next to an existing prisoner's work camp. The terrain was in the shape of a trapezoid measuring 400 by 600 meters and surrounded by two rows of fencing and heavy barbed wire barrier. The internal fencing was over two meters high and had branches weaved into it to prevent people from seeing inside the camp. The fencing also served as an anti-tank barrier. The camp was divided into three zones, the living quarters, the reception area, and the death camp. The living quarters were for the SS and Ukrainian guards barracks, administration buildings, warehouses, and workshops, as well as the barracks for the Jewish prisoners who were forced to work in the camp. The reception area was where the transport trains arrived and where the Jews went through a selection process and were stripped of their clothes and belongings. The death camp was where mass murder was committed in gas chambers and the bodies then buried in mass graves. The trains carrying the Jews arrived at a special rail siding. Around 20 wagons could stand there at any one time. Mostly, the Jews were transported in packed cattle wagons with no water, sanitary installations, or any kind of medical help. Many died before they even arrived in Treblinka. To hide their true destination, the Germans built a fake train station on the walls by the siding, there were fictional train timetables, directions to the departing trains, and other signs and notice boards to make it look like a real railway station. The first transport arrived in Treblinka on the 23rd of July 1942, carrying inhabitants of the Warsaw Ghetto. Having been forced from the train, the prisoners were informed by an SS officer that they were in an interim camp and that before any further travel, they must be washed and disinfected. Women were separated from men and directed to the barracks on the left where they had to take off all their clothes and have their hair shaved off. The men had to undress outside between the barracks Everything was controlled by SS and Ukrainian guards who shouted and beat them to force them to hurry up. Their clothes and baggage were taken into the camp and sorted by prisoners and then sent to Germany. The elderly, disabled, and children orphaned during the journey were ordered to a place called Lazaret. It was a small area with a high barbed wire fence with a barrack which had a red cross sign. After entering the building, the prisoners were ordered to undress and exit via a ramp placed above a deep hole. They were then killed by a bullet in the back of the head and thrown onto the pile of burning corpses in the hole. The naked prisoners were directed along the road to the gas chambers. It was a four meter wide path, which was fenced on both sides. It was called the Himmelstrasse, the road to heaven. After a 90-meter walk, the prisoners were beaten and driven by guards with dogs 
and arranged in front of the gas chamber entrance. Usually, the men were led into the gas chambers first, followed by women and children. The prisoners stood naked and were beaten and terrorized by the guards. Initially, there were just three gas chambers in Treblinka. In the autumn of 1942, the Germans built a new building containing 10 chambers. Inside, the gas chambers looked like public baths with tiles on the walls as well as showers. Once inside the gas chambers, the prisoners had to stand with their hands raised so that more could be packed in. Small children were thrown on top of the crush of people. After locking the victims in, a petrol engine was started in the annex. Carbon monoxide entered the chambers through pipes and the shower heads. It took about 25 minutes to kill the prisoners with the fumes. The killing took place in the closed southeastern part of the camp, isolated from the remaining sectors. Killing the two to three thousand people who had arrived in one transport of twenty wagons took the Germans three or four hours to start with. Later, they managed to do it in 1.5 hours. Liquidation of the corpses was carried out by a special group of prisoners the Sonderkommando. The bodies of the gassed prisoners were removed through outer doors. After pulling out any gold teeth, the victims' bodies were buried in great holes inside the death camp. Following the orders of Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler, in winter of 1943, the bodies were dug up and burnt on grates made from train tracks. The smell of the bodies drifted for kilometers over the surrounding area. The last victims, Jews transported from Białystok, were gassed on the 21st of August 1943. According to the most recent research, around 900,000 people were murdered in Treblinka. <laughs> <laughs> 